Hey, already got people here. Hey, uh, Bob. This is going to be epic. Welcome, my dreamer friends. Here is Dean of Dreamer's Empire. I am at the Mall of America. Get a little bit better view. Hey, Zoe, are you, uh, you're still in Disney, right? Thanks for joining. Good to have you here. Decided on an impromptu live. Rob Fuzz, awesome. Yes, I am a brave man. Thank you. Awesome. Where are you at today, uh, Zoe? I'm, I'm uh, Rob's, absolutely, I'm his agent. Is it packed? That was one thing I was going to show you. Hey, Kay Atwood, good to see you guys. Hey, Rosie, awesome. You know that Bob just ran into you down there at Hollywood Studios, so good to see you. We got people joining. Going to be uh, at 8K later on. Okay, well, we'll be watching. So, uh, took the afternoon off decided to come over to the Mall of America to see how busy and just check out the Christmas decorations and uh, here I am all right let's see hey Angela good to see you good morning how far are you from the mall like I'm in the mall what do you mean I am in the mall let me uh, turn it around here a little bit all right Oh, ho, oh, oh, gotcha. I live, what do you, I, you know, I would guess between 35 and 40 miles from the mall, north of it. So the mall is down in Bloomington, south of Minneapolis, and I am north of Minneapolis. So, here you go. Get a little view of the mall here. This is Nickelodeon, of course. I am live. It's Road Trip Dave would say, we are live. All right, here you go. If you haven't seen the Mall of America before, and I've, I've done live here quite a few times, here you go. So this uh, is our version of uh, Splash, Mountain, Splash Mountain. And it's not bad, it's not bad, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> You, you know you're kidding, Zoe. I wish, wish I could be down there at the uh, at Disney with you. But uh, yeah, this is this is what we got here up in the north. Here goes a ride. Hey, Rosie, thanks for joining. Rosie, are you uh, at the parks right now, or are you? I don't even know where you live. Yeah, I think you live in Texas. It's better than Epcot. Wait, wait, uh, not quite. <laughs> Let's see, what did uh, Zoe say? Well, the temperature is probably better. Yeah, it's a, it's not been too bad here. And, and that's right, Kay, it is dry, so we do have that advantage. But, uh, yeah. Oh, back in Texas. Okay, Rosie. Well, I'm going to show you guys around the mall. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, let's go. <laughs> Better than Animal Kingdom. Yeah, not quite. All right. So if you've been on uh, with me before, you know I've, uh, you know I've uh, kind of walked in this area before. But there is the movie theater here at the Mall of America. Oops. Recently redone. So there you go. They got all kinds of cool food options and whatnot. Let's go down. How's everybody doing today? We got Epcot Bob in the house. We got that rock star Rob Fuzz in the house. It, you know what, Bob, exactly, I was gonna say that. Is It is at the Mall of America a few days before Christmas. Go figure. Understand. Yeah, it's really slow. It is very quiet. Malls are hurting, I'll bet you, because of uh, online ordering and whatnot, but yeah. We'll go this way. 
would you say there? Konnichiwa, yeah. Well, we got 10 people on. You know what? I told Bob, probably expected less than that. I might like the mall better if ours had all this stuff. Well, you know what, Kay? It is a decent mall. I mean, it's not that dead, though. Yeah, it's a little busier here. But, um, but yeah, it's... Uh, it's got some cool stuff. It definitely has some cool stuff. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show you something new here at the mall, too. So if you can stick around, you'll see. Oh, looks like I'm getting a little... That. We got something new. So you guys probably know there's a Flyover America, which is very similar to soar in here but i noticed they opened up some new things right by flyover america now and i thought i'd walk by just to give you a little look at that and i've not actually done them so i don't really i know they're uh well i'll just wait <laughs> all right so we accidentally picked japanese on what he said epcot the other day Oh, on Spaceship Earth. I didn't know you did that, Zoe. I think I, ex I, I, think I purposely picked another language once. We're on the third floor. Zoe, um, when I hopped on your stream the other night, you had quite a few people on. That was kind of cool. go down here hey Joey Joey from BR fam is on good to see you see you Joey always good to see you and your family your lovely family for those of you who have not subscribed to be our fam TV go click on the on his channel and subscribe they're a great family thank you Rob appreciate it Well, Zoe, the answer to that is, for me, probably not too soon. Uh, but you never know for Bob. He gets down there a little more often than I do, so maybe he'll be back there soon. I plan on it, hopefully next year. All right. So, guys, um, you guys know that um, I own the liveplace.com and... Uh, one of the things that I wanted to let you know is on Wednesday night, the 26th, I am going to go, I'm going to do a new kind of live stream. It's going to be a little bit of an experiment this Wednesday, but it's going to be like a news show. So I'll tweet it out, and I may even put a little commercial here just to let everybody know. And what it is, is it's just basically, let me go into, probably be a little easier to see. Oops, pushed it one too many times. All right, sorry. Next time I'll go knock Dean out and drag him. I know, I wish you would, Bob. Oh, Disneyland trip, awesome, Joey. That'll be fun. So guys, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing this live news show and what it is, is it's going to be my attempt to sort of let everybody know what's going on in the live streaming community. And uh, hopefully it'll be a little humorous. But uh, anyway, Bob is doing great, Kay. All right, here we are. I'll, I'll pull over to the side here again. So I'm coming into Nickelodeon from the north side. Thanks, Rob. And Rob, you'll uh, 
you'll be featured on this thing. I'm going to be talking about what everyone's been doing for the last month. So I'm going to I'm going to talk about you, Rob. Amongst many, amongst all of our live streaming rock stars. Hopefully it'll be fun. I've been working on it for a number of weeks now. All right, here we go. This is the new thing. Whoops. All right, so shark attack. So as far as I know, what this is, it's like a simulation ride. And uh, the idea is you're having uh, these different kinds of experiences. So here's shark attack, mystery mine. Um, and I thought there was another one. But anyway, yeah. You, oh, you haven't seen that, Bob? Yeah, they, they've, they've been redesigning this area and they, uh, they opened it up just recently. So I know Rob likes sharks. Rob, you got a video on sharks, right? So anyway, there you go. And there is uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ride going. So Bob, I don't think we would like that shark attack ride. I think it's very similar to Body Wars. What did you say here? Baby shark. <laughs> oh, here's the old roller coaster. Maybe I'll go catch some of it here. Man, I got 13 people on. Yeah, you and I would not do that ride, Bob. Yeah, it is, Rob. It's, it's ticket-based. So basically... You can buy a season pass, you can buy one day wristbands, you can buy tickets, you can do it, you can do it pretty much anyway. Now, I got a question for you guys and I've I've been debating this for a long time if you if you can still hear me and that is could I get away with live streaming in here in the Flyover America? Hey Richard, good to see you. Wow, what is going on here? 16 people. I just totally did not expect this. Anyway, Fly Over America. Uh, they got a new Christmas one, Bob. And uh, boy, I would just love to, I would love to live stream it. Probably I would lose my signal in there anyway, but it'd be fun to try. Just kind of put my phone in, in my pocket. Hey, Alex Downs, good to see you. Didn't know you were there. Hey, Rob, uh, I have a feeling that I'm getting people here because you shouted me out. Thank you, friend. I appreciate that. All right, well, since we got some new people, didn't you try this in the past? I, I started to, Rob, and then I didn't quite get the nerve to go through with it. But it's really a decent ride. All right. I think you're becoming my agent, but don't forget, I'm your agent. Oh, thanks, Alex. Okay. Thanks, Zoe. Awesome. Now, Zoe's my agent, Rob. Yeah, Zoe's getting more and more popular. I've seen like over 30 people on your live stream the other night, so I know you're getting popular. Are you talking about Zoe? I sure am. Zoe is awesome. I met Zoe on a TTA convergence with uh, with Resort TV One. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Rob Fuzz hangs out with the rock stars. I mean, like the rock stars, and he is one. Well, yeah, it's exactly right, Kate. He is. The backyardigans. What, what I've heard of that. Is that what is that what those are? Okay. 
Yeah, that was fun on TTA. We want to we wanna have another uh, big convergence there. Now, legend status in this community. I agree, Bob. She's getting very popular. Hey, Dean, what's up, my man? Hey, Kevin. Awesome. Good to see Kevin's in the house. Uh, Orlando Parks Rover. Uh, Rob is live at 4.30. Don't forget. And, uh, Rob, I will not be able to join you today, but I hope that goes well. You need to, uh, the pink one. Okay. All right. I know nothing. I can show you whatever they got here. And guys, uh, if you guys um, aren't, if anybody here is not familiar with our Orlando Parks Rover, well, that's Kevin, and he's on here. Check him out. He's been doing some awesome live streams, like some marathon ones. Okay, whoa, let's see. I'm falling behind. Try, try rolling the orange one. Okay. Pablo, the blue one. Man, you know your stuff, Zoe. See me on the live place. Thank you, Rob. Yeah, see you, Rob, on the live place. Bob got to hang out with Orlando Parks Rover, Kevin, and uh, 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 what was the other guy's name? Uh, Mitch. Mitch. And uh, the, our Disney Adventures and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, Je Jen. Isaac Nail. Whoa, I didn't see you, Isaac. Isaac Nail in the house. Good to see you, friend. Uh, Pirate. Uh, Angela is on. Yep, Austin is purple. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. Looks like this is the end of it right here. That was your show back in the day. Okay. Isaac Nail goes live on Sunday mornings from his church down there in uh, Florida. And uh, I had all the unique, unique one merch. Okay. Did you keep it, Zoe? It might be worth something now. I don't know. Bob says, yeah, it was a blast hanging out with Kevin, Mitch, ODA. Oh, yeah, that's right. Bell Southern, and Jen, and others. Yeah. Quite a crew. Quite a marathon, man. You guys are going at it for a long time. you guys are enjoying a little walk around here. What did uh, Alex say? Last night was cool and awesome how Zoe put me on the spot to help her. Congratulations, Zoe, for that. Yeah, that was cool, Alex. I haven't been to Mall of America, says Kevin, in over 10 years. It's been so long. So, Kevin, uh, what brought you up to Minnesota? Or were you uh, visiting friends? Or did you come here to see the mall or what? You know, we get people coming in in here from all over the world. The wind is crazy here in Orlando, 20 miles per hour with higher gusts, wow. I saw, hey Richard, I saw where uh, Jerry had posted all the rain you guys got, that was crazy. Uh, Kevin, Bob is right. If you guys come up here, the Mall of America, we'll take you down here and uh, we'll have a great time. Get on up here and while you're on your way, grab Mike and Jen of Our Theme Life. They keep talking about coming. Visiting a good friend from the military. I need to go back soon, but definitely in the summer. Yeah, come on up here. Summer's great. That's the time you want to be here. I went to Mall of America when Bon Jovi was in town in 2010. Man, you guys like, are you guys like best friends? You've been with him a long time, Rob. Of course, he's been performing a long time. Uh, rain and tornadoes yesterday. Wow. I've legit never left the East Coast. Really, Zoe? You're such a... I, I picture you as a traveler, so I'm kind of surprised. 27 years. Man, were you like in his wedding? Were you, were you his best man or what? Um, met Charlton Heston. Rob Fuzz has met Charlton Heston. One of my uh, 
one of my heroes. Alright, let's keep walking here. What does Isaac Neal say? My town in Jacksonville, Florida was not bad. We didn't get any thunderstorms, but at night we had as much rain and a little bit of drizzling. <laughs> no, okay. I came in like 15 years after he hit it big. Oh, okay. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? I already forgot. Uh, sorry, guys. Losing my memory. We'll keep walking here. So, guys, when I was, uh, when my kids were little, I used to bring them here, oh, you know, maybe once a year or so. Maybe even more. I don't know. Epcot, Bob, I'm going to take you up on that offer, hopefully this summer. But i got to figure out my school schedule. Okay, Kevin, well, that'll be great. When uh, my kids were little, right around here was a ride. It was the balloon ride. Yeah, there's a Dora train. You want to see that? 18 watch. Hey, it's up to 20. What is going on? It's Rob and Zoe. Oh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Okay. Smash that like button. Show Dean some love. Appreciate it. 20 watching. This is awesome. Hazel the train. Oh, I thought this was Thomas. Is that not Thomas? Oh, Hazel, you're right. Thank you, Isaac. Yeah, Isaac is always so great at shouting out the live place. I appreciate that. And Isaac is one of our rock stars here. So check out Isaac Nail uh, and his church broadcast. Orlando Parks, you got to hit the man. Let us know. Yeah, we'll we'll be looking forward. Zoe, you got to get up here. Orlando Parks, I'm doing good, Zoe. Thanks for Okay, he's talking to Zoe and uh, Thomas Knockoff. That's what I'm thinking because he looks a lot like Thomas, doesn't he? I love Dora so much back in the day. My third birthday party was Dora. Oh, cool, Zoe. Yeah, my kids are into Dora as well. So uh, I'm a little older than Rob. Bob and I are, uh, well, we're probably quite a bit older, but uh, in our day, what was a cool cartoon, Bob, if you're still on? I cannot think of any offhand. Scooby-Doo, yeah, Scooby-Doo was, was one cartoon. Bugs Bunny and all that kind of stuff. 47. Okay, well, so I'm a, I'm about 11 years older than you. Glad to hear that. Yes, it's amazing, and I don't think you're okay. Let's see what they got here. I'm going to MVM. Okay, uh, I got to remember what that stands for. But um, magical Christmas party, right? Awesome, Richard. You don't look a day over 30, brother. I know it. Rob is... He is rock star status right now in our community. Now, I don't know what... Uh, what this ride does. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, Bob, you've been 39 probably for as long as our mom has. You feel old, Zoe? Well, you are old for your age. Uh, looks like it's going to take a while to see what this ride does. Oh, did you see that? Uh, got this this ride there if you can see it in the distance is where you you go up uh isn't going to come up this time all right guys i'm just hanging out chilling disney is the fountain of youth it is our johns 
why am I saying Arjuns? I'm, I'm saying it is Richard. It is legend. I'm just gonna walk around here for a while. Oh, I've been on for 25 minutes. I can't believe it. Doesn't seem like it. it does keep us young. Got a young, young at heart. We got a security dog in there. Mall of America has kind of cracked down in the last few years. They have a lot more security here now. Finding Nemo was out a few months before I was born. Oh, wow. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to Man, the Myth, the Legend of Arjuns. You guys got to subscribe to Richard. He is in route to becoming a thousand subscribers and when he does if i'm not mistaken richard we're gonna see some some live streaming am i correct stop making <laughs> kevin you're not too old not in my book we'll just keep going this way one of the awesome people to watch on YouTube is Zoe. I know, Zoe's... Oh, you're down, Richard. Yeah, that happens all the time. Uh, Zoe, that is a pretty good roller coaster. It's uh, they used a small amount of space, and they got it. You know, they made it very twisty and turny. But yeah, it's pretty good. All right. Well, Richard, we're just counting the days until you get up here with Resort TV One. That would be awesome. I always, Bob says. I always tell people I'm going to get, I'm getting hunting and fit, going hunting and fishing. Then I go to Disney and I go with him when I can. <laughs> yeah, who would unsubscribe to Richard? Well, it's, uh, it's always when they're cleaning out the illegitimate users. I think that's when you lose subscribers. So how much are tickets for the rides? How does that work? So Kevin, they do it. Uh, uh, multiple ways you can buy a day-long pass you can buy a season pass or you can buy individual tickets I think to go on just like a roller coaster you're gonna fork out about six seven dollars if I'm not mistaken Isaac Nail says I used to see whoop, I used to see that roller coaster before when I was little that might be a SpongeBob coaster yeah it could be I think you're I think you might be right it is this is my song says Zoe well, one of them. I don't know that song. I could go to Disney, uh, but instead I'm going to stay in the top. Okay. Room and watch screen. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Zoe. All right, let's keep walking. Now, you know, thanks for hanging out, guys. And certainly if you uh, don't feel obligated, but I am going to keep walking around. And I'm going to show you more of the mall now. Oh wow, that's not too bad, but I would pay, you would pay how much? Six dollars to go on that coaster once. Yeah, you know, it probably is worth it. It's, it's somewhere around there, six. I haven't really bought tickets in many years, so I, I'm sure it's probably gone up a little bit. Thanks for all 17 of you who are joined. Glad to have you here. For those of you who were referred over by Rob Fuzz or uh, Zoe, welcome. If I don't know you, nice to have you here. Bob says, I think the all-day wristbands are, what, 40 to 50? That much? Yeesh. It's been a while. Okay. Hi. Isn't there a water park in there as well? It's uh, not in the mall, Kevin. It's actually uh, just about a mile. Or, no, it's less than a mile from here. But yeah, there's a big water park not far from here. Uh, 
All right, Zoe, what's this? See, I don't know this kind of stuff. Water parking mall. Yeah, it's not in the mall. It's a separate building. I think it's tied to hotel. All right, Zoe. You know everything. What's this? That's SpongeBob? It does not look like SpongeBob. Okay. SpongeBob, I believe you. Yeah, I guess it does look like SpongeBob. It just doesn't look like right as it's round. I feel like I should do some trivia. Hmm. Who that character is. It's SpongeBob. You're right, Isaac, apparently. Well, he doesn't look like a sponge. No, he looks like a Christmas bulb. Let's see if they got anything else out here. Wish I knew what trivia I could ask you guys. Like, if I ask it, I know Zoe's gonna know in about 0.02 seconds, but uh, SpongeBob round pants. <laughs> All right, let's see some Christmas decorations here. Uh, reading the chat and I doing, oh, thanks, uh, Kevin. Well, today has been a little bit easier. Sometimes when it's hectic here and loud, I get a little, it's a little harder to focus. But Kevin, you've been doing awesome. It's really fun. You know, I, like Bob was telling me about these streams you guys are doing. They're like, what are they, like four hours long, six hours long? Uh, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> How do you even keep power that long? Wishing Mouse knows her stuff. She does, Kay. It's like crazy. All right, let's think of some good Disney trivia. All right, here we go. These are going to be called easy trivia questions. How many parks are in Disney World? Go. <laughs> Zoe, of course, four. All right, that was an easy one, but let's go harder. There's recently, plus two water parks, exactly. There's recently talk of a fifth gate. So, where did Disney just purchase land near to? And there's a rumor that it could be a fifth gate, although that won't be true. What does Kevin say? When you stream for ODA, be prepared with lots of extra batteries and copy, right? I noticed that. <laughs> so, where is this rumored fifth gate, which isn't true, but where did Disney just purchase land? What, what was it right next to? Come on, somebody out there has to know. Go, go beef, Orlando. Well, it's a little more specific. What is it? What is what land does Disney have? There you go, Kevin. Celebration, exactly. Marisol doesn't allow you to stop being streaming. I know it. All right, I missed some of the comments, but yeah, that's right, R. Johns. All right, everybody's getting it now. Celebration, celebration. So they just bought some land there. Does anybody know what what that's for? Uh, I would love to see a fifth gate, but I do not think that's going to happen. All right, next question. Let's think of a. All right, this is one where you could use the internet if you wanted to. What year did the Mall of America open? I asked that before, but water conservation. I think I did hear that, Angela. I think you're right, yep. Water conservation is exactly right. They bought a ranch. Huh, I didn't know that it was a ranch, huh. She's the sergeant. Okay, right, Zoe, 1992. And by the way, I, I kind of thought the mall was cooler back then too. We are headed, we're, we are going right by the Apple and the Microsoft stores here uh, momentarily. Let's see if that little robot guy's around. Oh yeah, there he is. All right. All right. They're going to use it for water cons 
conservation so they can use more land near the parks for development. Oh, I see. Okay, gotcha. That makes perfect sense. Richard would know that, of course. Hello. You are live before 19 people. How are you doing today? Let's see. Ask Pepper. Baymax. Let's see. You today. <laughs> All right, well, I don't think that was exactly answering my question. Oh, come on, you can't. You just have to suggest a break after the fourth hour and pray that she says yes. <laughs> they are an amazing family. Hello, I am Baymax, your personal health care companion. Yes, exactly, Isaac. <laughs> oh. It was a Fortnite sign. Now, oh, are you a Fortnite player there, uh, Zoe? I think they have some kind of a gaming thing in the back, but it doesn't look like it's going on right now. And they don't have the virtual reality thing going. Hey, Disney Mitch, awesome. Just talking about you earlier in your great meetup the other night. We got uh, Kevin on and Epcot Bob, and it'd be nice to see uh, our Disney Adventure hop on. Okay, folks, I am getting some lag here. Hopefully, at least I think during the lags, the comments still work and you guys are having the good chats amongst yourselves. So, all right, folks, here is, I'm not sure if ODA is sub to your channel. Oh, I would think they are. And here's the Disney store at the Mall of America. Hey, we got 24 people online. This is crazy. Man, this is about to go viral. Uh, moderators, please get ready. I believe we're gonna bust open here. All right, here we go. Let's go into the Disney store. All right, got some dolls here. I have no idea where to go, Zoe, so our Disney store is closed. I think I remember you saying that. Yeah, Bob, we actually do love Disney. We do indeed. Although Bob and I, if you were to add up the amount of time we spend shopping on a Disney vacation, it would be very low. Yeah, Amy, good to have you on. Uh, there's some cool stuff here. Why don't you guys all come up here? Bob and I would really appreciate that. Here you go, a Disney store. All right, Zoe, what do you want to see? See, now what, what I'm drawn to right now is these cups. Anything, okay. As long as it's Disney, right? There you are at the, the Mecca itself, and I've just taken you to a Disney store at the Mall of America. Ooh, cups, I know. All right, let me do a better job here. Wow, okay, that's too bad. Am I in the way? Okay, all right, thanks. Yeah, Mall of America is amazing. I bet it's incredible during the this time of year. It is, but you know, I, I seem to remember more Christmas decorations in the past. Got some cool cups up here. What does this say? Even in the morning, I'm still the fairest one of all. Okay. That's right, Disney Mitch. We have the legend. The legend is here. Peter Pan cup. You like that one? All right. Well, I'm just moving on here. Oh, he's a little tight in here. All right. I remember this guy from Toy Story, right?
Bullseye. Ooh, now you see something that would appeal to me a little bit more, and that is, of course, Star Wars. Ride like the wind, Bullseye. I, I am, thank you. Let me know if I can help. Okay. Alright, here's a sweatshirt that looks kind of decent. Imperial Stormtrooper sweatshirt. Rosie, if you're still on, I know you really like Star Wars. Alright, let me, sorry, let me get this. Which one? Which one you want? That sweatshirt? The sweatshirt's pretty nice. And OPR Disney Mitch R. John's live stream would be epic, yes. And Epcot Bob, too. All right, let's see. Let's see. All right. Oh, you know what? This actually looks kind of cool to me. One of the garbage cans. What do they want for that thing? So 32 bucks for this. Let's see. What did uh, Disney Mitch says? I'd seriously rest up for that stream. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what else we got here. Lots of stuffed animals. Uh, I do know Amy. She said that she's going to be in Animal Kingdom later. I'd probably let her tell you that. Looks like J266A3 from Epcot. Bob, I thought that at first, but when I saw the uh, comportment at the bottom, I was pretty convinced it was a 662, but uh, I think you're close. Kylo Ren merch. There you go, Rosie. I knew you liked Kylo Ren. Well, let me see. Where would Kylo... Kylo Ren, Animal Kingdom later, but I don't feel like getting ready. Oh, well, you got to have some time off, Zoe. I think you said you were staying in the Disney Springs area, so that's cool. All right, Rosie, I'm, I'm looking for Kylo, but I don't know if he was there. Let's see. Man, man you're right. Yeah, I know, I know, Bob. Not to not to embarrass you on the stream or anything, but I I do believe it was the two. But uh, good call, good call, actually. All right, Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren. Hi. Well, I just well, let's see. What do we say? Lots of merchandise. Then my Disney Star, okay. Well, oops. I need to brush up on my Epcot trash can knowledge. Well, Bob, actually, Bob used to be like at the top of his game, but you know, if you let it slip for a couple weeks, you're gonna kind of, you're gonna lose your edge. All right, Kyle and Red. So who do I have here? I have Ray, and I have Lando Calrissian. Is there any Han Solo? Uh, well, it's hard to dig, Rosie, but maybe Kylo's in there. You must have seen Kylo. I didn't see him. Huh. All right, guys. I think I'm going to head out of the Disney store. Is Kylo in the chat? I, I must have said, hold on. Oh, hey, there is Kylo Ren. Welcome. What an honor. There you go, Rosie. You got Kylo Ren right in the chat here. Arjun says, Orlando Parks Rover and Disney Mitch, you will have to let me know when you're going to be at the parks so I can stream and we can meet up. <laughs> I think Rosie's glad to see you, Kylo. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the big Christmas trees. We would ask Kylo Ren. Could ask, yeah, right, exactly. We've got the expert here. Bob, I think you promised to be subservient to Kylo, so 
You gotta be careful what you say here. What's Christmas? I know. You probably don't know. Ask Scrooge or ask the Grinch. I've been, <laughs> I've been having second thoughts about the pledge uh, I made to the First Order last week. Bob, do not think that Kylo has forgotten you or considered it uh, a casual remark. He is taking you quite seriously. You, you pledged to him. A time for giving. That's right. That's right, Rosie. It's a time for giving. Good, good call. 23 folks on. It's amazing. Didn't expect all this. Too late up, Cop Bob. <laughs> Rosie's saying you gotta you gotta live by your words there, Bob. So guys, uh, check out later today, uh, Rob Fuzz, 4:30 Eastern Time, going live. I think it's with Frankie, and uh, he is he is just hitting it out of the park, growing a lot. He's monetized now, so you can even send a little contribution his way if you'd like and. Uh, Rob is amazing. He's got that radio personality. I am his agent. So if you need a voice for your event, just contact me and I will book Rob for you. I think you're right, Rosie. He said my training would be much worse if they had to find me. Yeah, that's right, Bob. Don't underestimate how, how bad that could be. That's right, says Disney Mitch. Could be trouble. could narrate planet earth i know isn't that true kevin he's got that voice rosie is right says kylo so kylo has acknowledged that he's going to hold you to your commitment bob so don't think about backing up <laughs> all right let's go look at the christmas trees Looks like they got some kind of performance going on. You could be a trader. Like FN218. I know. Finn. I think our John's is saying that he could be a trader. And, uh, you know, what do you think of that, Kylo? Oh, well, looks like Bob's giving his commitment, Richard. I think it's up to you to save him. You don't want him to turn to the dark. Uh, Kylo's happy. Kylo is happy. All right. Timberwolves. So you guys, this is where, uh, this is sort of like uh, at the main entrance, I think, of the Mall of America, and they do performances up on this stage. It's a lot of Christmas programs. Uh, sometimes we see some famous people here. There's a, uh, right above here is uh, uh, all these plaques of famous people that have come here. So uh, let's see, it's not wise to, <laughs> yeah, right, Rosie. What did Isaac say? Gotta go see you guys on Resort TV One. Yes, we'll see you there, Isaac. If I can join, take care. Don't forget, I might do Christmas Eve. Might do Christmas Eve stream at 5:30, but I'm not positive. Let me know, uh, Isaac. I can get it on the live place. Hey, look, it's Dean. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Dean, you should go to a data warehousing presentation. Ooh, yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> I'm going to Tableau next year, so let's see. Bye, Isaac. Bye, Isaac. So everyone's saying bye to Isaac. All right. Onward, hold. 
Have we gone for an hour yet? Not yet. Bob, uh, any recommendations? What else can I show them at the mall? I, I'm going to head this way. <laughs> so, guys, I'll just show you the mascot. We've got the twins mascot here. <laughs> Over there is the tea wolves. I want that TV. Yeah, you can win that TV. Mitch. Onward ho. Uh, I mentioned this earlier and I'll mention again I'm doing a uh, live stream this coming Wednesday night I haven't actually put it on the live place yet but I will tonight I'm going to do a news show hope you guys uh, are subscribed check out the live place check out the YouTube channel and check out theliveplace.com where you can find family friendly live streamers just like Resort TV One since they are sort of the uh, the grandparents of all this community. So we're always grateful for Josh and Jenna and the thing that they started and how it really connected all of us. So anyway, kudos to Resort TV One. You all know them. You all love them. Now we got famous up-and-comers as part of this community. All right. What's this? Oh, this is new. Huh. All right, swinging around, folks. I do not know what. Oop, I always go the wrong way. I do not know what this is. Oh, cool. Resort TV One has the best live streams, best quality, and best community. I agree, Kevin, 100%. I got my eye on you, Epcot, Bob. Nice. Is it a simulation ride? I'm live streaming, so yeah. I'm selling your... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's a ride the movie ride. You can actually see it in the top center screen. It's a little bit of a delay, but it's actually the guys in there right now. And then just next to it, you can actually see their scores. Oh, so it's a, it's a game and a movie experience. All together. Wow. It is a seven-dimensional experience. How did I not know this was here? We just opened. Oh, you just opened. Okay. Surprise. <laughs> okay, how much does it cost, and can I live stream? I bet I can't. Right over here, you can actually see our pricing structures. Okay. And then live streaming out here, go for it. Can I? Awesome. In there, you wouldn't want to. No. <laughs> Everyone who's watching would sit there. Oh, and uh, yeah, because so I'm blurry. looking at the 3D thing, right? Because there's no 3D glasses for your phone. Oh, this is so cool. Do people get motion sickness in this kind of ride? You can't. Usually, no. Okay. I mean, it is possible. Yeah. I see people getting motion sick just walking down <laughs> the sidewalk. So. <laughs> well, there used to be a, a ride at Disney called Body Wars. Mm -hmm. And if you're familiar with that, that got the best of me. And if that's like this, where you know you're you're moving us in re, you know in a mechanism and then you're seeing something mall of america used to have camp snoopy in the center yep had a ride called the mystery mine ride yeah 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 
this is the mystery mine ride okay. on steroids. With seven levels of <laughs> experience. When all 16 seats in the theater are going, yeah. you can actually feel the whole mall floor vibrate all the way across the court right outside. You're kidding. Nope. Wow. I'm going to check out your, uh, cause I might, I might have to consider this here. All right. Sorry guys, if I missed some comments. So this was just opened if you didn't hear. Let's see. Uh, Alex talking to Zoe. Very cool. Says Epcot Bob. Okay. Let me, um, Come back a little bit so basically it looks like the prices are about in the 12 12 dollar range or oh i see which one you do yep yep you can do the wristband in the center screen it's 29.99 get you all day access in our theater I ride see. as many rides as you want as many times as you can okay and then it also gets you half price on our vr mazes which is actually behind you oh yeah I'm familiar with that. That's the uh, escape rooms, right? Or nope. No. No. Literally right behind you. Oh. Okay. And what does this do? Inside this area, we literally have you stand in here, get the VR equipment on, and then we start the video oh. game and turn you loose. <laughs> and that's all it takes to throw you off, I suppose. By the time you make it to the back corner, <laughs> diagonal from where you are, you will forget that you're inside this little cubed area <laughs> and you will literally sit there going oh, they want oh my to Lord. No. they're asking to see you sorry so can you explain that uh, explain this maze thing how it works okay oh okay yep 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 and with you standing there Okay. And all of a sudden, I see people every single day that will try to um, try to make it through and not touch the walls, and they'll hit an elevator and grab the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I will see people coming up and going, uh, "There's no floor. How am I supposed to go over there?" <laughs> <laughs> it's that real. We see all the fun things. That's fun. The best thing about being inside the maze is when you get done watching a friend who has videotaped you on their phone. Yeah. So now you can watch the video of you walking around going, I don't want to fall in the flames. I don't want to fall in the flames. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, I think for myself, if I was just to do, oh, is is he waiting to go? You might be, have a customer. So uh, if I was just to do like a, a first time experience and I want to do the gaming, whatever, uh -huh. what what would be the most inexpensive way to just do a one timer? If you have a Nickelodeon wristband, nope. Or if you have a Sea Life pass where you've been down there, it's eight ninety nine. Okay. To go in the theater. Otherwise, it's ten ninety nine for an adult, or nine ninety nine for a kid. Okay. Twelve and under. So for eleven bucks, I can do it once. Yep. Okay. And it doesn't look like you're too busy right now, so. Not right now. All right. Well, I got to finish my live streaming and then I'm consider we'll coming here. back. Thank you. Are you, you the owner? It? No. Okay. I'm the manager. Okay. Thank you. So that was actually kind of cool. So I've never seen this before. I'm assuming you haven't either, Bob. It says it just opened. So, yeah. There we go. Sorry if I missed some comments. Looks like it's lagging a little bit here now. So there you go. Another experience at the Mall of America. I think I'm going to sign off pretty soon, though. Uh, Anybody want to see anything different? Uh, let me know. Oh, I know. Uh, where was I going? <laughs> Zoe, I, I'll stay on for a little bit. All right. What's up with the eye? What's, 
our options? That's a good question. All right, let's go up. Let's go up. I don't think there's much more down here. Safari. A Sears. <laughs> Sears. The company that's about to go out of business, if I've heard right. <laughs> Toys R Us. Did you see a Toys R Us? I don't think there was one. How about American Girl, Zoe? I got my finger on you. You could buy a Cinnabon and we watch it. You know what, Bob? Whenever I eat those Cinnabons, I get sick. All right, I think I missed a comment. Let's see. Hello, sorry, my hey, Noah. You got Noah in the house. Nice to see you, Zoe. Oh, Noah, sorry. Oh, you never will. <laughs> All right, American Girl. I don't even know how to get in there. I thought it was right here. Oh, yeah, it's, it's all the way on the other side. Oh, well. You know, I forget, but I, I know American Girl is, isn't it dolls? <laughs> I have no idea. It's big. I know it's really big. All right, everyone's saying hi to Noah. Noah, it's good to see you. We'll just keep on walking around here. So no Hollywood Studios. Yeah, well, not not anyone I know. Hey, who knows where um, Resort TV One's going to be tonight? <laughs> MK. Okay. We are on the second floor now. The second floor is, um, as I always heard, it was a little more geared for the higher buck customers. And uh, Christmas party, sure. Yeah, that's right. Richard said he was going to be with them. So thanks for hanging in there with me, folks. Awesome to have you here. This is a funny smell. Is there a food court there? Yeah, there sure is. I can go buy it. Sort TV one will be at the Christmas party. Okay. I got my fingers on you, I've got Bob. Um, Yeah, yeah, thanks, uh, Zoe. I appreciate that. Uh, sometimes those comments kind of get past me. So, Rosie, this is family friendly. Let's keep it that way. Thank you. All right. Can we go back to the go on the dark ride? Well, Kevin, they said I couldn't uh, film it, so unfortunately, no. Cindy and Kurt love the mouse. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Who's that? Hey, Bell Southern. Man, look at it. We got almost all of the crew from the other night. We just need our Disney adventures and Jen. Good to see you. Hi, good to see you. Okay, Bell Southern, you're going to have to remind me your your first name, and I just knew it, and um, I'm already forgetting it, but we were talking about your crew the other night, so Jill, yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Bell Southern is... An awesome channel check her out and uh, she's been a great part of this community especially in, in linking up with the our Disney adventure gang and so check out Jill at uh, Bell Southern you know Bob got to meet her 
Mall of America has a Disney store. Yeah, we were there, Noah. You'll have to watch the replay. So I call her Mama J, Dean. She's the best. Yeah, I, you know, the more I hear about her, the more I know she's just an awesome person. Now, for those of you who uh, are kind of new to my channel, I want to show you one thing here. It's, uh, it's, it's actually four floors, but the fourth floor is kind of a more of a limited floor. Uh, Alex, but yeah, it's three, three similar floors that go all the way around and then there's a fourth floor. All right, here is the mirror maze. So that is actually pretty fun. And I did it in a live stream. Um, I think it's in the title of my live stream. So if you're interested in seeing what it is, um, check it out. It, it's pretty cool. Yeah, Alex, it's, it's, you get in there and the, the effect of the mirrors is un, uh, wasn't what I was expecting. And so we're on the third floor. John Caesar. All right, be right back, says Zoe. I've never done the maze. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there or not, but it gives you this uh, effect of like you could walk forever. It's really well designed. And you were working here when I did this. Yeah, <laughs> they loved it, by the way. All the folks on here, thanks. All right, I'm gonna go to one of the food court areas, but it's not the big food court area. Somebody was asking me about that. And I'll get by the uh, bake shop, which I have done on many occasions. Okay. And if I missed any comments and you want to repost them, feel free. Sometimes I get a little distracted. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Alright, here we go. Favorite Christmas song? Good question, Zoe. You know, one of my old all-time favorite Christmas songs for me anyway, and I'd love to hear what other the picture froze. Okay. Dean, what up? Oh, is that Road Trip Dave? Awesome. Can't chat, but I do have you tuned in and listening. Awesome. Guys, we got Road Trip Dave in the house here. You all know Road Trip Dave. He is awesome. He goes live now on uh, Saturday nights, and uh, he always has a fun stream. It's nice to hear that. I like Santa Gets Lit. I'm not sure I know that one. Road Trip Dave in the house. So, you guys, for me, I'm seeing my my visual, my, my video here is just stuck. Is that what you're seeing? I'm going to pull off here. Sorry. So, yeah, I'm stuck on the uh, bakery thing. Is anybody else seeing blank screen? Is that what you're seeing? Black screen. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Bob, what do we what do you do when you don't get a picture? How do you how do you restart this thing? Okay. Let me see. Road trip Dave need to have a little more energy on those streams. That's right, Richard. He is the definition of energy, of course. Hey everyone, thank you for all the hellos. Got to get off the chat, but I'm listening. Okay, all right guys, I'm gonna to try to refresh this and if it goes away, I'll come back. Sorry about this. 